you used to go to London for creativity and people making things in little attics and maybe they had, you know, one skirt, but it was genius and you loved it and you had to have it. We're seeing that now in New York and you're seeing it all over the city, whether it's Brooklyn or far uptown. So much creativity and a sense of community. They come here to see ideas and not to slap ourselves on the back, but I think a lot of this creativity is coming out of the spotlight that the CFTA Vogue Fashion Fund has put on young talent in the city. A fashion show does not exist in a vacuum. It is reflecting our culture. The biggest cultural shift in the last several months, obviously, has been women and how they are, have been treated in the workplace, how they've been treated in our industry. There's no way that this was not on the designer's minds. We saw a designer like an Alexander Wang. I mean, his whole collection was called Boss Lady and we went back to our old offices at Four Times Square. There's a, a real, real interest in the 80s right now because that's a moment when women first emerged in a real way into the workforce and they dominated with their big shoulders and their bright colors. I feel all the survival clothes and the handmaid's tales, Puritan clothes or the monastic clothes that we saw certainly at the row. There's definitely a sense of uh, less exposure and um, going into battle longer sleeves and gloves and hats. You could hardly even see the girls' faces at Marc Jacobs' very powerful show. Combat boots, oversized bags, oversized scarves, security blankets. The other thing I thought was amazing was how many incredibly beautiful coats there were on every single runway, whether it was a little leopard coat at Tom Ford or there's a coat for everybody, a coat for every mood, every season. They were extraordinary. The overwhelming point that I think that we all noticed at Vogue was how remarkably diverse the casting was, particularly at these young designers. They are not interested in polished perfection. They're not interested in a uniform look. Even the more established designers, like a Michael Kors, he's asking you into his world, he showed it on his friends. Yes, there were great trends and ideas on the runway, but the fact that it was such a democratic week to me for women at a particular point in our culture right now, to me that was so heartening and so inspiring.